I'm Adam Russell, and it's a privilege and honor to tell you about Fig Tree, one of our newer ministries here at Cokesbury. I started volunteering during the pandemic, and it was a tough time for all of us, but an even tougher time for many of our neighbors in the community. Um, I love coming in and serving, meeting other people. You know, I was working remotely from home here in, in the Farragut area and had more flexibility in my schedule. Um, I'm not tied down to a nine to five job. And I saw this opportunity as a way for me to help grow this community. Uh, we have volunteers of uh, various experiences. Some are retired, some are still working like me. And I thought, you know, the ability to drop in for a couple hours and help our neighbors out in meaningful ways just really feeds my soul every time I get to come in here. Don't let the fear stop you from coming in and meeting with, with our guests and with our staff and other volunteers. It's an easy experience to walk into and within literally a matter of minutes, being able to contribute and help the people here. One experience I had with a new guest who um, started coming about this time last year, I, I met him, he has the same name as me, Adam, and um, I asked him where did he come from? How did he find out about Fig Tree? He said it was another guest who had been coming for a while, and I asked him, you know, how did you get here? He told me he walked on foot from downtown Knoxville, 15 miles. And when I thought about that, it just really hit me, hit my heart in a way that I understand people are making big sacrifices and taking extraordinary efforts just to get here for basic things we all depend on during our lives. You know, the food, um, a place to get warm or cool down during the summer, a place to do laundry, a place to, you can have computer access and just various kinds of services. It's, it really touches my heart every time I meet a new guest like that. But I think some of us have a perception of what homelessness is like and how people get to that point. But I have talked to guests who are, uh, one was a Marine, a former Marine, one was a former nurse. For most of us, we just take it for granted that we're probably not as many steps removed from many of the people who come in here as we think we are. And to me, that's just breaking down barriers and just recognizing we're all cut from the same cloth. God loves all of us. And in the end, you know, Jesus told us to love one another and Fig Tree is a wonderful way to do that.